each other. I, you know, look, I've talked about that in the past, and, and I don't want that to continue to be a story about this this particular game. All the facts will come out after this, the Super Bowl, and however those facts come out, you know, those are, that'll be news to me as well. So um, that process will all take place at some point. Uh, you know, I'm excited about the Super Bowl. You know, that's where my energy is. I think there was a, a little bit of an energy drain, like I said, with my emotions and feelings being involved early in the week. But, you know, i got to be able to move past those things and compartmentalize those things and be mentally tough enough to go out there and try to, you know, shine through. Okay, Alan, Chris, your take. You know, Bob, I think back to the day after the Indianapolis game and Brady goes on a radio show and doesn't even know what anybody's talking about. Then all of a sudden he's playing defense in all of his press conferences leading up to coming here to Arizona. He's gone from defense to offense, which Chris will talk about in a second. I do know one thing. At the end of the day, if he's implicated in this, and there's something nefarious that did go on, and we'll find that eventually, he will have about as complicated a legacy as any big-name football player I can think of. There, there was too much wiggle room in that for me. I, I mean, that's an easy answer. If you have nothing to do with those footballs, you go, Bob, I'm sick of this. I'm telling you right now, I had nothing to do with those footballs being underinflated. And when you present it in that way, it's very easy to feel like, what did Tom do? And now here we go into the Super Bowl game, and I honestly, after watching that, have more doubts about it than when we interviewed him. When I interviewed Tom Brady, this is what I said. I yep. said, Tom, look me in the eye. Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't even remotely say anything to a ball boy, an assistant coach, somebody that may have interpreted that as, I want yeah. you to go deflate the balls. He said, absolutely not. Just like that. That was the opposite of that. And that was a few days after he talked to me. You talked to him first, and he did that, and I talked to him the next day. That was the next day, the very next day. You did the interview, I think, on Tuesday. We were yeah. with him on Wednesday, so it was 24 hours later. Maybe it's the difference between doing an interview you know there on national television and sitting in a room you know, with a couple of people. Last thing quick.